What is up everyone and welcome to the new MNR vlog. Wow, you really put that smile on fast. The new MNR vlog. Uh, today, yes. What's in the bag? What's in the bag? It's all right. All right. So this is a package from Brickshell. It's a product uh, that we kind of hatched an idea on. How long ago would you say? Mm, a couple months. A couple months, all right. So yeah, it's been, it's been a minute since we've been talking about this for sure. And uh, today we have like the final realized, well, prototype, but like probably final uh, versions of it. There's basically two versions for me to pick from um, because one is a little more expensive, but it's nicer. And one's a little less expensive, but it's not as nice, but they're both very nice, if that makes sense. It's like an iPhone 16 versus an iPhone 16 Pro. So I couldn't get a dang Rubik's Cube. So difficult. It's worse than Rubik's Cube. Well, it's not. I'm you're just, just not, you're just slow. It's okay. It's okay. All right, so there is Rex in the non-magnet case and there's Han Solo and Han Solo in the magnet case. And you can see from the side profile, the magnet case is quite thicker. It would also be more expensive. Like we wanted to work out what it would look like. We weren't sure. Uh, also, I flipped this over because I was testing some stuff with the Brickshell guy, Abe. But um, basically, I think I'm going with this one because it's cheaper. I think it looks better. Like, it's still the same quality of everything else. But you just won't have to pay as much because the magnets, uh, you know, add a bit to the cost. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I think I'm pretty happy with this. So, I've been working on setting up this real nice. I think it looks beautiful. We got the giveaway Jedi Bob Starfighters there. Giving away all five. We got our last white Boba Fett. I had like 25 of them, I don't know if you guys remember, but down to the last one. And so I figured we'd auction it starting at a dollar. Got a bunch of the keychain figs. There's a lot of cool stuff we're selling today. And while I've got a couple minutes, we'll head over to Orlando Brickco and see what's up over here. It's dark out here. And into the light. Looks like at some point they got a UCS Imperial shuttle. I can't, yeah, 850. That's the price on that, what a beauty. But a lot of sets, still not like things I need necessarily. Well, I didn't really peek through everything, but yeah, it's always hard to tell what's exactly new because there's just so much stuff every time I look at it. It's just overbearing. I think they got more of the bags actually. That's kind of crazy, but yeah, I don't think I'm getting anything. I just wanted to come stare at this for a little while. <laughs> The whatnot stream ended. We sold a ton of figures, a ton of foil packs. So thank you to everyone who was there and bought something. We actually ended up giving away an extra sixth Jedi Bob Starfighter on the stream. So thank you to those who were able to come and support us. I'm gonna head home and I'm bringing this home because uh, I love it a lot. So uh, let's go home for the night. So I decided to pull out, I think 29 of these Hoth minifig packs for the uh, live stream that we're doing tomorrow and whatnot for Build Your Army. I don't know if we'll sell them all, but I figured that, you know, we may as well have them there. And then we also, uh, Jared and I are working on the convention page uh, for MNR shop so that you can know which conventions we're gonna be at. So like whether, um, we're going to change some of the verbiage here, but like MNR shop and I are attending, or if it's just going to be me, like if Atlanta BrickCon, it's just going to be me and the shop won't be there, but that way people will know and have easy access to like the ticket button for the conventions that I'm going to. Cause it's one of the questions I get a lot is which convention you go to. And now there'll be a very, very easy way to figure it out, which I'm super happy about. I think it makes a lot of sense and it's right at the top. So drop shop, uh, cases, sale, conventions, and help. Help. In the meantime, I've been uh, building some of the Republic Bricks Kashyyyk build. And I haven't built a Republic Bricks set in quite a while. I've made a video on a Republic Bricks set in quite a while. Um, and so I was like, all right, I'll build it. Let's see what's up. And so far, this build has been very enjoyable. It's uh, not as rough uh, as some of the other ones in the past have definitely been. It's just been so long since I built one. I wasn't sure how this would go. But so far, it's the Kashyyyk build. Obviously, this is going to be the beach, the water, and it's starting to come together. And in the meantime, listen, a little PKA there. So, yeah. Uh, having a good time definitely it's just been a minute so i didn't know exactly how this would go but it's going well progress has continued to go pretty well on this build and jared stopped by with the shirt i gotta find it so this is the non-embroidered version of the shirt so really all that's different is on the front it's printed and i think i like it better printed although the back we realized was missing a tie fighter and y-wing so he's gonna redesign the back a little bit to make it fit i feel like i don't vlog enough in stores anymore so i wanted to check out they have some new lower prices the end one for $9.59 is a really good deal. It's crazy that it was $16 to begin with, but $9.59. But then again, if it was $10 to begin with, it'd be $7. So give and take. And then I guess this is new lower price, but it's going to have to go way lower to anyone, for anyone who want to buy that. This at $42 is a pretty good deal, though. But it seems like the 20% off we used to get on stuff like that, it's not as, not as good anymore. This looks like extra reflective or something. It's like extra saturated box. Yeah, there you go, side by side. You can see it is more reflective or more saturated i'm not sure which but it definitely looked different upon first glance progress has been a bit slow on kashik i've built this part here 
and I built most of the Corporate Alliance tank droid, uh, minus like the eyes and guns on the side. And then there's the second one of these I have to build still. And then the rest of the tree, which I was missing a piece for, but I was hoping I would find the piece in like the search. So we will see. That's why I was like trying to build other things so I could maybe come across it. But I don't know. I haven't seen it yet. It was a brown piece anyway. Um, and then this was also missing like five pieces that were like these, where did they go? It's this piece, but the clip is supposed to be turned 90 degrees. And just judging from the amount in here, there's a chance that they either ordered the wrong part or the BrickLink seller that, you know, put these parts in this bag, um, put in the wrong parts, which can also happen. So it's hard to figure out exactly what happened, but I was, I'm kind of thinking that's what I actually, uh, you know, was supposed to get. And then they gave me these parts instead. But yeah, everything else has been going smooth except for a couple things, but that's, you know, it's a 2,000 piece custom set, 2,500 pieces, it happens, but at the same time, like, it's a painful thing to have happen, because it's such a long process anyway to build something like this, so like anything that goes wrong just like adds 10 minutes, add 10 minutes, and it's like, oh, you know, we're already at 7 hours. Well, I don't know if I'm at seven hours yet, but it will take seven hours to build. Remember when I said I thought I was missing eight clip pieces? You'll never guess what was on the ground here. The eight clip pieces I needed. Wonderful stuff. All right, cool. So we're taking a break from that anyway, though, because I wanted to build a Jabba's sail barge tonight while watching football. All right, I'm on ACOB right now. Someone just said torsos are made to be cracked. We're watching this. And uh, this torso feels like it's going to crack. So I don't know if I'm going to actually pull pull the trigger and push it together because I'm afraid he's going to break and I really don't want to break him. All right, I finished this sail barge. It's looking pretty nice, although I need to get some different two by two plates because this one on the, the side is cracked. And then I'm actually going to start up the 2006 one because the Patriots are getting killed. So we're going to open this up and start building it. The live stream just ended. I finished building both sail barges, except they actually gave me one of the wrong pieces. It's actually supposed to be one of these curved pieces or whatever, but it's not. I think wedge is the actual Lego term. So they actually gave me a wrong piece on the sail barge it's actually insane i actually can't believe that happened that does not happen often but on these old lego sets i guess you never know because this was one without numbered bags bit of a mess but yeah i thought it was just maybe fell off the table but no clearly having this extra tells me that that's supposed to be there so that's it for the day it's iphone release day so i'm actually on my way to the apple store but i had to stop at orlando Brico before our big build your army stream tonight because i had to bring some of these hoth packs that i'm never gonna use so we're gonna put these in here to hopefully sell on the auction tonight. I also don't know where my key is, so I have to wait for Jared to come to actually put them inside, but we can at least dump them here for now. So we are supposed to pick it up between two and 2.15, and it is just about two o'clock, and the mall is that big blob there. So we are right about there, right on time. Pretty happy with that. Had to check out the Lego section in Barnes and Noble, but their fire alarm is flashing, so that's annoying. Um, doesn't look like they have anything new or on sale or anything so we're just gonna head on over to the apple store because that's what i'm really here for i think this has been retired a while actually but i still don't want it i just had so many from that one video i did where i like combined eight of them so i definitely don't need more and that flash is uh really really annoying we're getting out of here Finally back home and it's time to unbox the new boy. I'm not super stoked that the phone is a little bit bigger this year. I already think the phones are like, you know, big enough, but you know, we'll see, I'll get used to it. Wow. Oh, that uh, usually it takes longer than that. This year I got black and the lighting makes it look really weird. But I did get black this year and I like it. I actually had ordered black last year and then when I was in the store, I saw the natural titanium of the 15 Pro and I was like, all right, we're getting natural titanium. I had, they switched it for me, which was great. But this year I'm sticking to my guns. We're going classy, all black. Looks like we got our charging cable. I know everyone's making a big deal about no Apple stickers. That's sad, but yeah, that's the box. So we'll throw that away this year. I'm gonna try not to keep all my Apple boxes like I used to. So this year it's going right in the recycling bin. Anyway, I'm gonna get this set up and I think Adam's about here anyway, so I'm not gonna have a lot of time to do it, but I am excited. All right, we're up in Orlando Brico. I almost said Atlanta Brico, getting all my stuff out. I would've gotten my backpack out from the other side, but I got it stuck in the door somehow. I also am not using my new phone yet because I need like a, I need like a code from the account holder of the phone or of our phone plan, which would be my mom, I think, because my dad is on his work thing. So unfortunately, my mom and dad are on a cruise, so I can't get it till tomorrow. So I can use my phone. I just can't use the cellular on it, but whatever. Anyway, 
We're going in. Adam's here, Ant Bandit. What's up? What's what up? Are, what are your first thoughts on the store? Oh, you've been here for five minutes, but. Yeah, literally five minutes. It's great. Uh, I love the lighting. The displays oh, yeah. are great. So, yeah, I mean, this is wild. The, the ISS? The ISS. Yeah. That's so cool. So, I'm like taking it all in. Mm -hmm. and I'm trying to let it soak in. Better or worse than an unnamed store you were at today <laughs> that rhymes with mini figs and bricks? I'm going to say it's a little bit better. <laughs> a little bit? Okay, okay. It's a little bit better. I mean, the, you can't see the displays anywhere else. That's what I'll say. Don't forget the uh, big signs up there. Big signs. Big big signs are big. Yes. You know? So. They are real. Like the Marvel ones. They have words. Yeah. On them, yeah. Flounder's here, too. Just just back here. Look at that. It's on M and R shop. Yeah. Look how shiny and chrome. Yeah. Shiny and chrome. So we finished up the stream. We filled up both sides of the rack. It's actually insane to have done. We usually don't. Like it usually doesn't go that crazy, but this stream what you need. <laughs> this stream we went nuts. So I, I had a great time. Thank you for everyone that came and supported us. Um I, I think Jared had a fun time. He was dancing the whole time. You wanna show him the moves? I was trying to buy my books. So Jared should already be here packing up y'all's one night orders from Friday. So I'm going to go in and help him or at least make sure he's doing his job. Right. But now I'm going to help him. All right, guys, Jared is doing his job, unfortunately, or fortunately. <laughs> uh, we still have a lot of work to do though. We've been making really good progress. We've got an assembly line set up. So I've been setting up, like making sure everyone's order is correct. And then Jared puts it in the box, but I need to go over to the store right now um, to see if they have a Reyes minifigure because I felt like mine was going to break when I put it together or was putting it together. So I stopped putting it together. And so I want to buy one that's already put together for my review. And then I'll film myself trying to put it together for real after I'm done. Uh, but I'm too scared right now to put it together. I see they added some please do not touch signs. So I'm curious what happened. Something absolutely had to have happened. But we are in search of Reyes, who's an original trilogy figure. So let's see if he's in there. Don't see him there. He's more expensive. So he might be in this back area off to the side. Actually, that's probably where I should start. But take another glance in there. No. All right, Reyes. I don't see a Reyes. This is disastrous. It was at this moment that I remembered that I did check online and it said that it was in store for pickup. So they should have it. Like their inventory says they have it and I know how their inventory works. So it should be here, but I just don't see it. So I'm gonna have to ask for help. Supposedly we have it. Supposedly you do. I saw it online. So yeah, this kid bought Reese. He bought it. Oh, you haven't, you haven't even bought it. No, he's on hold for my credit to hit today so I can buy it. Well, you, my so credit already buy hit. Buy four figs, get one free at Orlando Brickco all September. Oh, my God. <laughs> There's a very minty green Oh, piece. it's not even that good look. I'll have to clean him up. <laughs> <laughs> the head, oh. I can at least use my the good head I have. All right, well, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll return there, him to so you. However long you need him. Yeah, it might be a week. Oh, I, through the sale barge release. So at this point, we have organized all the shipments. Jared's doing the finishing touches on the outgoing shipments. And now for my least favorite part, checking to see what's wrong or if anything's wrong. So item 53 here wasn't shipped, which means either their payment didn't go through or they requested to cancel and we accepted. And so we look up the number 53 for 920, 917. So that means that item 53, because that's battle pack 53 there, doesn't exist anymore, which means that is ours to keep not something that's supposed to go someone so it goes in the bin there and the process repeats itself well today fellas this one is clean we are perfect on the wall we actually shipped everything perfectly so no one should have any problems with their orders which is a good feeling it means we did it right which we should be doing but you never know human mistakes happen uh we just have these battle packs to check but i know i canceled a few battle packs last night or whenever so let me double check like battle pack 34 let's see 34 is there a battle pack 34 here? Nope, those are all older dates anyway. So that one is ours to a resell today. Oh, let's go, that is also ours, I'll dump it in. All right, so we were perfect today. If anyone has a problem, you didn't. You're a liar, possibly. We still could have messed something up in another way, but as far as getting everything off the wall and where it's supposed to supposedly go, we did a great job today. So, W Jared, 
W Wiz. W Wiz. Well, I'm sitting down here editing my advent calendar review. I actually had a, a thought about Django Fett Slave 1. If you've been living under a rock, there is a rumor that a UCS Django Fett Slave 1 is going to be coming out next year. And so it's definitely time for me to review my Django Fett Slave 1. I mean, I have a review from like 2017 that's not so good, but it's one of the sets that I planned on re-reviewing. I just really don't want to open the cargo case. What I originally wanted to do was make the thumbnail for the review just a box. And then when you open the review, it'd be like, look, I'm opening this entire super rare thing. Well, I've kind of changed my mind because this thing's just so expensive. And I'm like, I'd rather have it sealed for my own collection of really cool things that I have sealed, new, whatever. And I can just always keep it like this. And then I can buy this sealed. And then I can just buy the carrying case separately and then show both in the video. The problem is this, like when I bought it, I might've paid like a thousand dollars for it or whatever. Like, and I intended to open it. And now that it's been a couple years, it's probably worth 2,500, $3,000. You know, it's just too much money to cut a plastic seal on this for me. It just doesn't make any sense. Plus, I want one sealed anyway. It's just one of those like unrelatable collector things of like you're hyper fixated on too many like little things when it comes to your collection, just the way that you want to do it. And that's how I feel about this. So I think we're going to do some shopping today. The cheapest carrying case is $3,000. A Slave One looks like $1,000 is probably the cheapest price from Megan's Wrapping Company. That's an odd name. But we're talking about a $2,000 difference, and all I need to get is the carrying case, which I think I can get for $100. So, like, literally $2,000 just to open that. Look, I already did something like this when I opened a sealed UCS Darth Maul, so I feel like I've shown that, you know, the dollar value of things isn't necessarily the sole driver for me. But in a case like this, where it's a unique variant of the item, I think it's different. Like, with Darth Maul, like, I only need the one sealed box to open whatever. But for this, this is different. Because it's a two-in-one pack that you just can't get easily. I don't know. I'm going to offer something on this, and hopefully I can get it for less than 1000 If the offer gets accepted, I'll let you know. If not, maybe I will just open that. So all I got to do is look at these pictures. I mean, the box is certainly not perfect. It's got some creases, but to save me $2,000 of value one day, I think is worth it. And, you know... This thing is there making more of these. So these will only become more collectible over time, in my opinion. So we'll make an offer here for 900. And I think I'd be really stoked with that. The offer is in and they got 24 hours to respond. I guess I can go back to what I was doing now. But I like had been getting the itch to like start working on Django Slave 1. And then I'm like, I don't know. I don't know if I can do it. So yeah, I just think out the heart. But these other sets I'll open. The U-Wing, the... Uh, Obi-Wan's Jedi Starfighter. Oh, I also need to go on eBay and order. I need to order one of these. Hold on. It must be in that box there, but I'm not pulling it out. But Plo Koon Starfighter. I need a new one of those too. Finished up my advent calendar just in time to go play basketball. I usually play pretty late. I, I like to get there by nine, but I'm okay being a little late today. I got a video finished. I, I really do want to upload this one tonight so I can have two days in a row of uploading videos. And then tomorrow will be day three. And I'm going to try to get a daily streak going. So I think I will actually upload this one tonight, right when I get back from basketball and get it out by midnight. And just as I was getting ready to leave, my slave one decision has been made because my offer on eBay for 900 got accepted. And my video has rendered. Would you look at that? Perfect. Good timing on a lot of things. Feels like a bit of delay on the watch, but right when I got in the car, I got that notification. So there's the confirmation. I did buy it.